Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our NI EVS Home School. My dear students, hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am Shanti Dharman, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Version School, Deshi. Today I am going to take a science class for the student of class 2. Our today's class topic is chapter 17, reading done and exercise. Lecture number 17 and homework number 40, the homework which given after the class and our term is half yearly exam and to, uh, this is my uh, name and contact number my dear students today we will discuss chapter 17 the name of this chapter is light and shadow the name of our chapter is light and shadow you can see there are lots of light around us in our home, in our car, in our bus, in the street, we can found light. And most, we get the main uh, light from the sun. Sun is the main source of light. And we also get light from the moon. And uh, beside the light, we can also see shadow. Now, we uh, discuss this chapter. Light and shadow. Sources of light, we cannot see in the dark. We need light to see. Things that give us light are called sources of light. The main source of light is the sun. It helps us to see during the day. There are other sources of light that help us to see at night or during a power failure. These sources of light are tube light, light bulbs, torch lights, candles, lamps, lanterns and fire. So they are the sources of light. Sources of light are tube light, uh, light bulbs, torch light, candle. But main source of light is the sun. Now what is shadow? Look at the picture. You see here a picture. Can you see the dark color patch on the wall? There is a patch on the wall. This dark color shape is called a shadow. This dark color thing is called a shadow. Now you can see here this is my stick. You can see here is this is my stick and here is a black uh, stick shape. It is called shadow. You can see here in the board this is a black color shape and it is called shadow here is my hand and you can see my hand uh, figure in this blackboard and it is dark and this is called shadow can you see the dark uh, this dark color shape is called shadow a shadow is always dark you can see here this shadow is always dark how are shadows formed light always move in a straight line Sometimes it cannot pass through objects that fall on its way like trees, animals or people. When something comes in the way of the light, it uh, stops the light and a shadow is formed on the other side of the wall or on the ground. So we can say a shadow is formed when an object does not allow light to pass through it. So how does shadow form? A shadow form when an object does not allow light to pass through it. Here you see the sun gives light in a tree and beside the tree the shadow created. So it is called uh, shadow form and you can see here also here is my hand when the light came uh, to my hand and it cannot pass through my hand or my body then a shadow is created in this board and this shadow is black now length and direction of a shadow as the sun moves across the sky the shadow keeps changing its size and direction a shadow is the longest in the morning and evening we found that when in the morning and evening our shadow become longest and a shadow is shortest in the afternoon in the afternoon the shadow is uh, shortest because the sun gives light on the top of our head that's why a shadow of an object is formed on the opposite side of the object a shadow always created on the opposite side of the object like here you see a stick 
stick is here and its shadow is here in the opposite direction so here uh, it thinks can have more than one shadow if there are more than one sources of light the shadows will be lighter in color now points to remember things that give us light are called sources of light that means the sun is the source of light because it gives us light the main source of light is the sun the sun helps us to see during the day a shadow is always dark a shadow is formed when an object does not allow light to pass through it the length of a shadow changes through the day a shadow of an object is formed on the opposite side of the object so after reading this chapter we know that light is the uh, ma main source um, our the things gives us light is called the source of light the sun is the main source of our light a shadow is always dark and a shadow is always formed beside the object and uh, and the length of the shadow changes through the day after reading this chapter now we do the exercise in your book exercise there are three uh, exercise tick the correct answer write the true false and fill in the blanks now we do exercise number a tick the correct answer a number 1 shadows are formed there are some options in the shade by a source of light on the same side of light shadows are formed by a source of light so you put the tick mark on it number 2 shadows uh, is the shortest there are three options in the morning at noon and in the evening we know that shadows is shortest in the afternoon after reading this chapter we know that shadow is shortest in the afternoon so we put the tick mark on at noon number 3 the source of light is there are three options rays cloud lantern that means here we know that a source of light where uh, when we read this chapter we know that the sources of light are tube light light bulbs torch lights candles lamps lanterns so we put the tick mark on lanterns number 4 light travels in a curved line bent line straight line we know that light travels in a straight line so we put the tick mark on straight line number 5 candle fire the sun helps us to see during the day we know that sun is the main source of light and uh, in the day time we can see and we can get light from the sun so we put the tick mark on sun the sun helps us to see during the day now exercise number b write t for the true and a for the false there are six sentence and after reading this sentence you will decide which sentence is true if the sentence is true you write t and if the sentence is false you write f so at first we read one number one sentence a shadow is always dark after reading this chapter we know that it is true a shadow is always dark so we write here t Number 2 a shadow of an object is formed on the same side of an object we know that a shadow is formed always formed on the opposite side of the object so the answer is false number 3 a shadow is shortest in the afternoon we know that a shadow is always um, shortest in the afternoon so here the answer is true number 4 the main source of light is fire no the main source of light is sun so answer is false number 5 the shape and size of our shadow depends upon the position of the sun in the sky the answer is true so now you write t number 6 a shadow is formed when light passes through a thing no when the light is um, get obstructed by the object then the shadow form so answer is here false <coughs> number c 
Exercise number C. Fill in the blanks. Number one, we get dash from the sun during the day. Answer is we get light. L I G H T light. We get light. L I G H T light from the sun during the day. Number two, a shadow is always dark. D A R K. A shadow is always dark. D A R K dark. Number three, my shadows is the dash in the morning. Answer is my shadow is the longest in the morning. L O N G E S T longest. My shadow is the longest in the morning. And number four, my shadow is the dash in the afternoon. After reading this chapter, we know that shadows are shortest in the afternoon. So my shadow is the shortest. S H O R T E S T shortest. S H O R T short e s t shortest in the afternoon here the fill in the blanks complete and the my dear students i hope you understand this chapter and also the exercise and your homework for the next week is homework number 14 exercise number a you will do the exercise at your home and submit it on uh, proper time Till then, keep well. Assalamu alaikum.